A fire that killed five people was set over a cell phone. That's what a Denver homicide detective said today about the arson fire in Green Valley Ranch last year. Nine News crime and justice reporter Matt Jablo is live outside the Denver criminal courthouse where the preliminary hearing in the case was held today. And Matt, for the first time, it's like we're finally learning what police say was the unbelievable murder a motive for these murders. We are, Alex, and like you said, according to police, the motive involved a cell phone, incredibly enough, specifically revenge over a stolen cell phone. The fire began right around 2.30 in the morning, August 5th of last year. It spread quickly and with devastating effect, killing five members of the extended Jaw family, three adults, a young child, and an infant. It is uh, just a horrific case. We are... Um, really sad and devastated at what happened to this family. During Friday's preliminary hearing, for the first time, prosecutors laid out their case against two of the three defendants, Kevin Bowie and Gavin Seymour, Lakewood schoolmates, both of whom were 16 at the time. The lead detective testified that in July of last year, someone stole Bowie's cell phone and some money while Bowie was trying to buy a gun in City Park. Police say when Bowie tracked the phone using his iPad, it pinged at 5312 Truckee Street in Green Valley Ranch, the Jaws house. Prosecutors presented evidence that Bowie then sent a message to his older sister saying, they're gonna get theirs like I got mine, I swear. He then allegedly sent a second message to Seymour saying, hashtag possibly ruin our future and burn down his house. A few weeks later, Bowie, Seymour, and a 15-year-old friend then allegedly drove to the Jaws house, according to prosecutors, and spread accelerant around the back door. Prosecutors say they then burned the house to the ground, not realizing until the next day that it was the wrong house. It seems to be totally senseless and, and uh, avoidable. Prosecutors say after he was arrested in January, Bowie made a full confession and implicated Seymour and the 15-year-old. According to prosecutors, Seymour also eventually confessed. The third defendant in the case, that 15-year-old, has not yet had his name publicly released. Right now, his case is in juvenile court, but the Denver DA told me today that she's hoping to try him as an adult, just like Kevin Bowie and Gavin Seymour. Alex? The fact that Bowie actually text, texted possibly ruin our future, they knew what they were doing. It seemed like there was a lot of damning evidence presented today, of course. This was just a preliminary hearing. A lot more, I would imagine, will come out at the trial if there is one. All right, Matt, thanks for following it for us.